Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial um, where I'm going to show you some basic modeling techniques in Cinema 4D. We're going to create the windows that you see here in this graphic. Um, we're not going to play around too much with lighting and rendering, but I'm going to show you the, the steps that we can take to achieve uh, the box uh, window result you see here. Um, I'm going to show you three different ways to approach this to show that there's not really one right way to approach modeling in Cinema 4D, um, but really it's just a matter of preference, and I'll discuss the things to consider too when choosing an approach. But uh, this is going to be a great tutorial for beginners who just want to see a couple of different ways to um, uh, make the window, and it might not be t applicable to your project, but what's important is the steps that I take to get here and how you can apply the concepts elsewhere. All right, so let's hop in and uh, let's get started. So here we are in Cinema 4D, and here are the windows. Let's quickly render them. And as you can see here in our objects panel, we I've used three different approaches. One uh, that using a Boolean operator, uh, one using extrude nerves, and one just uh, using purely the uh, polygonal tools offered here in Cinema 4D. So. Um, I'm just going to show you how I how I did this, starting with um, the way I first learned to do this, which is the fastest, which is the Boolean. So I'm going to create a new document, and all of our windows are going to be 200 uh, centimeters or units by 200, um, which is kind of just the easiest way to do this. So, and I'm going to have a depth here. If you see, we we grab this little uh, dot on this cube, and we can resize it. So, and we see that it's changing the Z, so we're going to change that to 25. So, the, the general uh, dimensions for um, our window is going to be 200 centimeters high, 200 centimeters uh, wide, and 25 centimeters deep. So, now I'm going to drop in another cube, and I'm going to change the dimensions, the X and Y, to 175 by 175 and keep the depth about the same and drop in a bool and here we have it so there you go in a matter of you know 20 seconds uh, or less I've we've created the desired result for this window um, so you know you render that you can see it's just a basic window frame and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in a plane so that we can add the window pane to it so now we know the dimension, the inner dimensions of our window because we created the cube that cut out our hole. So we're just going to change that to 175, 175. And now we have our panes. So I just added some materials to our materials panel. And I'm just going to drop this purple glass on our pane. And I'm going to drop a basic wood onto our bool. And if you render it, here you can see we have a basic kind of window pane going on here. So I'm going to select both, hit Alt G to put them in a group. I'm just going to call this, let's call this Boolean window. And now we have our first window. And I'm just going to slide this whole thing over to the left so we can create our next one. So the next one, we're going to use uh, splines and extrude nerves. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create this rectangle. And I'm going to change it to what was the dimensions of our first um, cube in terms of height and width and now I'm going to just drag a copy of it up and take this one and make it 175 by 175 and you can kind of, I think you can kind of start to see where we're going with it so I'm going to select both of them make editable which is uh, C is the shortcut and then if you go to functions connect what this is going to do is it's going to create one spline out of both objects. So I can select both of the old ones and delete them. And now I have this rectangle. And I'm going to go into my NURBS and I'm going to select Extrude NURBS. I'm going to hold Alt and select it, which is going to add it to, by default to the spline you've already selected. And now you can see exactly the same object as we just created. Uh, with the boolean operator. So again, we're just going to do the exact same thing as before. We're going to drag in a plane um, 175 by 175 and I'm going to drag this green glass onto it and I'm going to drag uh, this on the wood onto the extrude nerves and select both Alt G 
and extrude nerves window. So now we have the same kind of thing. And if you notice, they're rendering differently. So this is again some of the advantages and disadvantages you're going to see. See how this one renders a little bit nicer than that one in terms of the way materials mapped onto it. So an easy way to fix this is to just select it, go to the material tag, and instead of UV mapping for the projection, just do cubic and uh, this is going to fix it. So there again, now we're starting to see one of the one of the downsides to using the extrude nerves method, even though it is quick and it's spline based, so it's very uh, it's it's very easy to edit on a point basis, which is good for any of the, you that are coming from Illustrator. So now this is the last one we're going to do, and I'm going to drop in a plane, and I'm going to change the plane to um, 175 by 175. Now the important thing here is I'm going to take um, my uh, object and take my segments down to one and one so I just have one polygon and now I'm going to make it editable I'm going to select I'm going to choose my select tool and go to the the edges mode and I'm just going to draw a selection around all four uh, of the edges and I'm going to hit D which is the shortcut to bring up extrude now what we're going to do is basically extrude these edges to create the actual edges of our window, then we're going to delete the inner polygon. So, if you think about it, um, there's a 12 and a half centimeter gap between the inside of the frame and the outside of the frame. So that's what we're going to put in here for our extrusion. Now we hit enter, and there you go. And this actually looks very similar to what an actual window frame looks like, especially some of the old ones you'll see. So now we're just going to go to polygon mode with our selection, and we're going to select it and just hit delete. So now we have this frame. Just quickly draw a selection over all these polygons. Now hit D again to bring up extrude, and this time instead of 12.5 we're going to hit 25 because that's the depth that we want. And we're going to hit enter, and you see we have this little hole in the front of it, so we're just going to hit create caps, and there you have it. So now we have this plane that we've extruded and done a little bit of uh, polygon work with and we have this nice window frame just a single object way less uh, objects than the other ones and we're going to do the exact same thing just drag that on again plane plus z 175 by 175 so we're, and I'm just going to grab this yellow and throw it on here and now we have all these windows and again if you go to this and here I've sped through the render time and this is uh, the lighting and rendered uh, version of uh, what I had done before and um, so yeah you can see you can use this in some sort of design to create a wonderful uh, oxymoron like I've created here with the eye windows um, or you can figure out something more creative to do with it regardless my point was that you know many roads lead to Rome and there's really no way, right way to model anything there are ways that slow down rendering so for example the one uh, here on the right this is the one that I made with simply the plane uh, it's one uh, polygonal object and that was the f by far the fastest render time about uh, a third faster than the other two which rendered at uh, similar times. Um, the way I really tested it was I put it in this well lit, well rendered scene and um, this one stood the test whereas it took maybe a few seconds longer to, longer to create. Um, a lot of times that's a better way to approach things because if you have a giant scene with tons of windows then uh, you're gonna your render times are gonna go up if you've used the boolean operator or uh, the extrude nerves because it's doing additional calculations. It's not just rendering polygons, it's using those operators and then calculating the result. So uh, if you've ever worked with the Boolean operators on large scale projects, you know um, you know how, how they can really slow things down. So yeah, I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. hope you can apply some of the steps we've taken today in your own projects and uh, don't be discouraged if you read a tutorial and someone does something differently than you and you think, oh man, I wish I would be doing it the right way. There's really no right way and uh, yeah, so 
Hope you enjoy this. Uh, tune in next time.